Okay guys, so just know, as I'm filming this video, I still don't have tickets to WrestleMania 40. Yo, what is up YouTube and the Monster Club? It is yours truly, the life of the party, the young Gohart and the real final boss himself. Of course, I am the party monster. Back in the house of Monster, back out with a brand new video. In today's video, I'm we'll going to be going over my predictions for WWE WrestleMania 40. Me going over night one and two and everything, and just give you guys my honest thoughts and everything. And hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the Monster Club, hit the like button, and sound off in the comment section. I am curious, if you guys. Well, I'm curious to see what you guys think about this upcoming weekend's event. I'm psyched for it and everything. I don't have my tickets yet, but I'm gonna take care of that very soon. Hopefully, I can catch someone panic selling at the last minute because. These prices are just ridiculous. Like, I've seen as high as, like, 700 to about the 150 range, which I'm not thrilled to pay 150 but versus what I've seen all week, that's kind of a win, honestly. So, if I have to bite the bullet, it's whatever. And especially, it's worse for night, too, for whatever reason. Like, I get The Rock going to be there and everything, but I would think that affect night one more than two, but whatever. Hopefully they go down, but I'm definitely looking forward to being out there. It's like an hour and a half from where I live, so not too, too bad. I wish I was driving out there, honestly, but we're going to make the best of the worst uh, terrible situation of me not driving out there, but it's going to be fun regardless, and yes, I'm doing Monster Mania, the first annual one. I'm so excited for it. April 7th, we're going to be right in front of the stadium. I'm going to be out there vlogging, drinking, hanging out with you guys, and hope you guys pull up on me and come be in my video so yeah we're gonna be doing that but anyway since this is wrestlemania xl it is only fitting we have an extra large beer on deck and we got the natty daddy which i've been killing low-key so there's that but i have another beer on deck in case i don't do this one because i got a lot of matches to go through and again i don't want to be dehydrated and all so we're gonna be getting into that and everything and i'm also gonna be giving away three copies of wwe 2k24 if you guys haven't already seen my Houston Astro unboxing video, go peep that. First, watch this one all the way through. Hit the like button, subscribe, but then go check out that one because I get, went over the entire details on how you guys can win a copy of the game in your designated platform from yours truly, the Party Monster. I went over when I'm going to be doing the raffle and all that good stuff. So anyways, we got a lot of matches to go through, and I'm going to go through them all, but in really no particular order. So I got, I'm kind of cheating because my computer is literally in front of me as I'm talking to you guys. But anyways... First thing on deck, we got the six, I mean, yeah, the six-woman tag team match between Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill, Naomi, and then Damage Control, which, this is a simple one. I love Damage Control. I lo definitely love myself some Dakota Kai, like, for real, for real, like, I, mm, if I ever get to meet her, I'm gonna turn into a damn groupie, but there is no way <laughs> Jade Cargill, Naomi, and Bianca Belair are going to lose this match. This is like the damn... Avengers showing up and everything. They're not losing, so we're just gonna move on because no, it, it's not. It's not gonna happen. Like I cannot. Like Doctor Strange, there are like five billion million, whatever number he said in that movie. Different scenarios, but none have Damage Control winning. I'm sorry, it's gonna be a tough week for Damage Control. Slight spoiler for the other match that I'm gonna be going over. But next up, we have Bobby Lashley and the Three Street Profits taking on. The final testament, honestly, and, and it's going to be a Philadelphia street fight, which I'm looking forward to. But honestly, I hope with all my heart, Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits win. I got to meet Bobby Lashley like many years ago at, um, well, right, he was literally in front of my job and everything. And that was pretty cool. So I hope he wins, honestly. Like, that's my pick. Okay, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna move right along, guys. Next up, uh, we have the match I could care the least about. Not gonna lie. We got Dragon Lee and Rey Mysterio taking on Escobar and Dominic Mysterio. I don't know, this is kind of tough, honestly. Now that I really think about it, especially because this match had really no build whatsoever, I'm gonna go with Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee, like... It'd be like a nice little feel-good win for Dragon Lee, his first WrestleMania. Like, why not just give him the win, you know? Okay, guys, moving right along. We got AJ Styles taking LA Knight and... 
this is gonna be a fun one. This one might actually steal the show for real, for real. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go L.A. Knight. Like they looked past him last year in L.A. Crazy enough. So I'm gonna think he's gonna redeem himself. match. He's gonna redeem himself. We're all gonna be hyped up. Everybody saying, "Yeah, the top of their lungs." It's gonna be a party. I'm looking forward. But moving on, next match we got the undisputed tag team championship ladder match. We got the New Day. We got Judgment Day. We got D L Y. Pete Dunn, Tyler Bates, Austin Theory, crap, like Grayson Waller, and Real Truth. I think I think that's what they're called. Um, the Miz and R Truth. Let's not kid ourselves. We all know R Truth and the Miz are gonna win the championships. Like they have to. Like we we have to have a redemption arc for R Truth. Like seriously. Like here's to R Truth on this one. Big swig, guys. Big swig. But for real, for it should be a fun one. And I'm not gonna lie, your boy has like no energy right now because. I've been working like crazy all week. Like all three of my jobs have definitely been putting your boy through his paces and everything. And I still have to do another double shift tomorrow. So when I get to Philadelphia, and granted it's night one of WrestleMania, so I don't really get a chance to chill. But when I get to sleep in the next day, I'm going to totally take full advantage of that because your boy has been worked. Next up, we have what I hear going to be the opening match for night one. Jimmy versus Jey Uso, probably the one match I cannot predict to save my life. I think Jey needs it more, honestly, but I low-key feel like Jimmy's going to win. Like, you have to have some things in WrestleMania that you just don't like and everything, so I kind of feel like this is going to be that one match that kind of, well, I can't say depresses people. Like, I know people are strong on both sides of the fence, yeet versus no yeet, so, I mean, I'm team yeet, so but I'm still going to go Jimmy on this one. Moving right along. Okay, so next up, we got the Intercontinental Championship match. Gunther taking on Sami Zayn. And honestly, I think Gunther's going to retain. But I also think that it's going to be Chad Gable that caused Sami the match. I think we're going to see a Chad Gable heel turn that night. And I'm with it everything. Like, he needs a, a new character arc, for real, for real. Like, I, I can't keep doing the happy-go-lucky Chad Gable. Like, I, I'm done, man. I'm over it. Like, make me care, WWE. Make me care. Okay, probably one of the matches I'm most hyped about. We got, for the United States Championship Triple Threat Match, we got Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, and Logan Paul. I'm a Logan Paul fan. I'm, a, I'm an Orton guy as well, but for whatever reason, I see Logan retaining and maybe having a feud going on with... um. L.A. Knight going into SummerSlam, something like that. But I think he's going to cheat and he'll retain the belt. So I'm going Logan Paul. Let's go. It's going to be a fun match, though. Like, Logan Paul has been working his ass off in that ring. So I'm about to put in that work. That might be the match of the night. It could be. Okay. For the Women's Championship, we got Rhea Ripley taking on my girl, Becky Lynch. Y'all saw me in WWE 2K. That's, that's the only person I use is Team Becky. Like, we're, we're Becky all day. But honestly, I don't know how I can predict this one. Like, I'd low-key want to see Becky win, but she doesn't really need the win. So, um, but then Rhea started talking about Becky's kids. So, and I kind of feel like the Bailey match is going to go a certain way. So, I'm going to say Rhea retains in this match. Gonna be a good one. They're gonna they're gonna do their thing. Okay. For the women's championship match, we got my future wife Bailey taking on EO Sky, and let's just let's just be frank. We all know Bailey Bailey's gonna win this one. Like for real, for real. Like the way they've been going up this dissension between damage control. Bailey's got this. Let's let's go. Okay, guys. So, this is probably going to take place on night two, but we got Seth Rollins taking on Drew McIntyre, who deserved the MVP <laughs> award this year, because this dude's been playing his ass off on CM Punk. I actually just got a brand new Drew McIntyre shirt, which y'all will be seeing in a future video, but anyways, 
I'm going to say Drew McIntyre is going to win the match, but then Damian Priest is going to cash in. But I'm going to, just for the sake of a prediction, I'm going to go Drew McIntyre for the win. Okay, guys. So for the main event, night one, you already know what time it is. You got The Rock and Roman Reigns taking on Cody and Seth Rollins. The stipulations are if Seth and Cody lose, the next the match night two is going to be a Bloodline Rules match, which means anything goes. And if they win, it's going to be, well, if Cody and Seth win, it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one match. But, you know, they ain't winning. Like, Bloodline Rules, baby. This was, that's how it's going to go down. And honestly, I think Seth eats the pen. Maybe Drew McIntyre interferes some kind of way. But there's no way the Rock and Roman Reigns are going to lose night one's tag team match. Like, it, this ain't happening. Okay, guys. So, main event, night two. Cody, Roman, part two. This is a tough one, guys. Because y'all know I'm not a Cody fan by any means. I have no Cody shirts. I do do the whoa when he comes out. But I ain't the biggest Cody fan. So it pains me with everything in my body to say he is going to win against Roman Reigns. Like, I, I'm going to have my ones up. We're going to be drinking for the Tribal Chief. But... <sighs> I would love to see Roman win. Let's not get a twist it, but there's no way. Cody has to win this match. Like, for real, for real. Like, all these damn finish the story and we may have to get packed up all weeks, all the weeks building up to WrestleMania. If he loses, like, it's going to be all for nothing. Seriously, like, will you still care? I wouldn't care. I really never cared about Cody anyway, so it could be super easy not to care if he loses again. So, there's that. Okay, guys. We did it. I don't know how. There were so many matches, but we got through it together. And yes, I am super excited. I like, I still have to go do all this packing, run all these errands, but when I'm there Saturday, cheering my ass off, it's going to be all worth it and everything. Like, I love WrestleMania. If you've ever been to WrestleMania, you already know that the feeling you get when you're there. Like, it's a whole different animal. It's not just like a regular house show. You see people from all across the country and... It just makes you think of, like, when you were young and watching WWE and everything. It just brings that joy back to your heart and everything. So, I'm looking forward to it. This is, like, my eighth WrestleMania in a row and everything. And I'm definitely doing nine next year in wherever it's at. Either Minnesota or Vegas. Your boy's down for it and everything. But, anyways, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Share it with a friend. Throw the 1,000 subscribers starts right here. Right now, you can be the difference. But, anyway, other than that... As always, you guys can follow me on social media at PartyMonster1 on X and PartyMonster05 on Instagram. And if you feel the vibe, hit subscribe. But other than that, until the next one, remember, don't be a dick. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. Peace. I love you. Bye. Let's get it.